Mr. Chiu, thank you so much for your time.、Uh, my first question is: What's your major takeaway from this year's two sessions, the political gathering in China? Well, from a member of CCPC from China, from Hong Kong, obviously the what's in fact as most and what is important to us this year is the national security law that will be implemented for the people of Hong Kong.、Uh, if one's watch TV, you can see. Every day there are riots on the street, you know, disturbing. Whether you're on the train station, whether you take a bus, you're in a taxi. So I think when you go shopping, so I think most Hong Kong people, truly, at least the majority of the people of Hong Kong, I really believe, welcome this、uh, national security legislation. You mentioned the national security law. How do you view it as a business leader? I think I think as a businessman, obviously they all welcome, and I think not only businessmen. I think anybody on the street, majority of the people in Hong Kong also welcome it because their life is being disturbed,、uh, you know. And and Hong Kong truly needs stability.、Uh, with together with the COVID nineteen, you know, the corona virus, it, it certainly doesn't help our economy. For the first time, the Hong Kong unemployment has shot up to close to six percent. For Hong Kong, six percent is quite high. And secondly, you know, I mean, our economy in the first quarter has subtracted minus eight point nine percent. So, so people in Hong Kong really want their life back to normal, so they can get on with their normal life. Then, as one of the business leaders in Hong Kong, do you think the national security law will affect the high degree of autonomy in Hong Kong, and how will the business environment benefit from the national security law? Well, first, first one is, as I said, if, if anything that will bring back the normal life of people in Hong Kong, they welcome it. And, and, and the second part is, is I think it doesn't affect unless you. It only related to very respected people, unless you want to betray your country, you want to be a spy, unless you want to be independent for Hong Kong. It, it doesn't affect your normal life. It only brings you peace and prosperity. So I, you know, I don't think it's 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 destructive at all. And 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 all along, China have always been very supportive. And continue to be supporting our country business. Then, in the future to come, do you have any suggestions on the integration of Hong Kong's economy with that of mainland, and also the development of the Great Bay Area? Well, definitely, Hong Kong is, although very successful, but we are no longer a cheap place to live. We're no longer an economic place to do business. Our rent is amongst the highest. Our labor cost is high. Our housing is one of the highest in the world. So, we are facing our own challenge. You know, as the Western people say, we are pricing ourselves out of the market. Now, with the Great Bay Area, it offer at least three or four major benefit to the people in Hong Kong. Number one, some of the expensive homes, office. Can gradually be relocated to the Greater Bay Area, so we will make it more compact. Secondly, the direct benefit instead of an eight million people market, it will be a seventy million people. You know, you know the population of the area. So that would also give us a direct benefit. And thirdly, Hong Kong being the financial capital market, you know, Shenzhen. Right next to us, part of the Greater Bay Area is is the future Silicon Valley of China. It is all the young people, all the smart people. A lot of those high tech are being invented or being created in some China. And that that together with integration of Hong Kong as a financial market, Shenzhen as part of the future innovations technology base. And together with the 70 million people populations, and the, for manufacturing, for basically market share, everything is possible.
As we know, China has launched the new foreign investment law、uh, recently to be more friendly and open to foreign entities. Based on your experiences over the decades, how do you assess Chinese business environment now? Well, China. Funny, ironically, China is moving more international. China is opening our market. China is reducing tax. You know, China is helping small business. Our economy. Our business leader, our our country leader, whether Xi Jinping and the Prime Minister, all doing the way I look at、like、the right thing to help the economy. But trouble is that the world's biggest economies, America, on the other hand, are not being helpful. They're closing the market. They're doing all the things that what we don't expect it as the world economic leader. You know, so I think. At least we're glad that China is doing the right thing.